tutorial video. Today we're going to go ahead and make a panning camera. Um, so to begin, uh, open up the package and you will find in it a asset uh, for a scenery. Um, so let's go ahead and create a quad and position this guy to 0, 0, 0. And then we're going to scale him up to 100 by 100. Then we're going to take our scenery and drag it onto the quad. Uh, the next thing we want to do is change our camera from perspective to orthographic. Um, our clipping planes, far to 10, and our Z to 1. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and create a C -sharp script called Camera Pan. And this is going to be attached to the camera. So let's open this up in Mono Develop. Okay, so we want to be able to control our camera with our mouse and pan around. Um, so Unity has a pretty nice thing called a uh, called lock cursor, which will allow us to lock our cursor when we click on the screen. Um, so if our mouse is down and zero is for the uh, left mouse, and then we just want to lock our cursor. And during the regular update, when we don't have our mouse down, we want to unlock our cursor. Okay, so if you click play, When you click on the screen, you'll see that my mouse has disappeared and it will go back to the center when I let go. Which is kind of what we want. But now we want our screen to actually move with our mouse. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and create a function called get input for axis. And this will take in a string called an axis, a uh, vector three direction and a float response. Um, so this guy is going to do some stuff. We're going to initialize move to zero. And then we're also going to initialize the speed. And this is going to equal input dot get axis which we're going to pass in axis. And so input.get axis will return us a float based on what the axis we passed in, which are defined in your um, project settings and then input. You see there's this thing called axes. And we have mouse X, mouse Y, and scroll wheel, which are the ones we're going to be using. Um, so after that, you want to say move plus equals our speed times our response. And if our move is not equal to zero, then we want to grab our transform and use transform.translate to move our camera. So this takes a vector3 transform in, or vector3 in, uh, which is going to be dir, or direction times move. And so this will take a direction, like left, right, and um, up or down, and we will times this by our movement. Um, so let's go ahead and use this guy. Get input for axis. I'm going to pass in mouse x. And this is going to be uh, vector 3 dot right. And then 
I'm just going to use five for now. And we're going to copy this line. Change this X to a Y. And the right to up. And now if we click play, we can click and drag our camera around. So we still can zoom and we can still actually go off of our map. Yes.